Today we're going to fix the Arducam 64 megapixel Hawkeye camera for the Raspberry Pi 5. We're going to stop using LibCamera and switch to RPI Cam. So if your camera is not taking pictures right now, let's get it fixed. I'll show you how. If you're not sure which Raspberry Pi operating system version you're running, we'll go ahead and type in a command here to find that out. Source forward slash etc forward slash OS release echo version codename. And it'll come up with either bookworm or bullseye. For me, it's bookworm. So this video will be completed with the Raspberry Pi 5 with bookworm version OS. You're going to find with the upgrade that the camera CLI tools were renamed from lib camera to RPI cam. So you're going to see that uh, RPI cam here does respond with no cameras. And lib camera won't even be an option going forward unless you add the legacy packages yourself. We're going to go ahead and do a JPEG test uh, for a picture and then a video test just to see what comes up. So at this point we have figured out how to restore our camera after the uh, OS upgrade. We need to replace the Arducam 64mp.json file. We'll take a look at the overlay and show you how it should be set up. And of course we should be using RPI cam instead of lib camera. First thing we'll do is run sudo apt update and you want to do this before any upgrade just because it refreshes the package index so that you know what new versions exist. Next we'll do a sudo apt full upgrade and this actually installs the upgrades. We'll add a dash y at the end just so that it answers yes to the prompts. You won't get a chance to review it, but it'll just be quicker. Next we'll do sudo reboot just to reload the system with a new kernel and finish any upgrades. Once you restart, type in sudo raspy config to go to the Raspberry Pi software configuration tool. From there we're going to go down to interface options, I square C. You want to enable this. If it's not already, click OK, go down to finish. And then we're going to reboot with a sudo reboot. Now I want to make sure that I have the RPI cam apps installed and fully updated. So do sudo apt install dash y RPI cam dash apps wget which stands for webget. We're going to download files from the web. As you can see I've already done this. I have no upgraded or downloaded files. We're going to go to home directory with a cd tilde then we're going to do wget dash o install pi variety packages dot sh now if you continue to see lib camera uh, don't be surprised what happened was that the command line tools were renamed from lib camera to rpi cam and bookworm but the underlying lib camera library and all the infrastructure still exists so it's still called lib camera just not on the surface at the command line level we're going to use chmod plus x to make the file executable otherwise it's just a text file now we're going to install the kernel driver package for the Hawkeye camera. Now these next two lines, you're going to see that we're using the same Arducam installer script again, but we're going to install different packages. We're going to install the libcamera development package and the libcamera applications package. Now it's going to ask if we want to replace the libcamera 1.8.1 with RPI cam, and the answer is yes. Next we'll go to the firmware config.txt to make sure that we're properly set up. We'll go here to the overlay. Well, if you actually want to be technical, this is the configuration for the overlay. The overlays are actually files. This is the graphics driver configuration for the overlay. You'll need this. And if we scroll down to the bottom here, this is the Articam 64 camera overlay configuration for port cam one. You may be port cam zero. You want to check. If you don't know what port your camera's in, just look at your Raspberry Pi. You zoom in here, you can see that I am in port one. Here's a close-up of the settings that I have in the config file. They should work for you if you're using the Pi 5 with the new OS bookworm update. Now we're going to save this and then exit. Now we're going to do sudo reboot to reboot the system and then test the camera. Okay, we'll test this with just a simple RPI cam hello. It should come on here. There it is. It's out of focus. It'll come into focus. Take a few seconds. Now we'll go ahead and record a five second video with the Arducam Hawkeye camera and save it as a, an H.264 file. <laughs> I think that's funny. Uh, save it as an H.264 file and it works. So hopefully it works for you as well. Since it works perfectly now, here are some basic camera commands. You've got the uh, list cameras available command and the five second preview window command. Here's a command for a still shot. It's a photo.jpg file. And then here's a 10 second video file that you could, uh, that you could use. You can also play around with adjusting exposure with this command, but remember that you can use autofocus with every command using the Hawkeye since it has a motorized focus. Thank you very much for watching. That's all I have for today. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out our other videos and let me know what you think in the comments. 
and I'll see you again soon.